Good morning, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 32 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, Obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We want to be your go-to resource for all things health and nutrition. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity business, health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to comment on the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you've got questions or comments about our Truth Skin Health products, which are all available at truthtreatments.com, we welcome your calls, 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the bright side, please go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase all your favorite longevity products right off the website. You can also call 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470 for more information. You can also ask about joining the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can be in business for yourself. Earn thank you checks associated with helping change people's lives, spreading the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. And I'm not being hyperbolic. I'm not exaggerating when I say change people's lives. That's really what a good nutritional supplement program can do. And that's what the longevity products can do. That's what the longevity business can do. You can make a lot of money selling longevity products, or you can make a little money. You can make as much or as little as you like. You can work out of your home. All for a one-time $25 fee. You can get tax benefits associated with having your own business. And if you've always liked being a, or always wanted to be a health coach, I know a lot of folks have always uh, dreamed of helping people with their health. This gives you a platform. This gives you a wonderful opportunity, not just to help people, but also to have a good business as well. Call 866-735-2470 for more info or click on the Join the Team link at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. All right, our number today, 844-236-6010. We have a guest coming up at the bottom of the hour, Dr. Joanne Conaway. She's got her own radio program on the Genesis Communication Network, and we're going to be talking about uh, I-26, hyperimmune egg. And we're going to talk about the immune system and the digestive system. Dr. Conaway uh, was, um, is an expert on the digestive tract. She was a registered nurse before she was a naturopath. She worked hand on, hands-on with patients, and she's always been talking about the gut and gut health. I've uh, known Dr. Conaway now for pushing 20 years, probably 18 years or so, and she's always been talking about the digestive system. She's written a book on it, and she's also quite an expert on I-26 hyperimmune egg, which is one of Longevity's newer immune-boosting products, which we don't talk about a lot on this program, but I personally use it every day. I-26. You can find it on uh, the Longevity website. And we're going to talk to Dr. Conaway in the bo- at, at the bottom of the hour. So if you've got questions or comments, give us a call in our next segment, or we'll get your calls in our next segment. Try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible. We're talking about uh, glucuronidation, which is the body's most important detox process. It's awkward to say, but don't be intimidated by the word because learning about it and understanding how to leverage it, how to take advantage of it, how to upregulate it is super important. Upregulating glucuronidation. Biochemistry can be kind of intimidating in its language, but if you can get a handle on it, 
uh, understanding how to use words can help you understand some of these concepts. Glucuronidation is like tinker toys. It's when a tinker toy piece gets stuck on a, on a toxin, and that tinker toy piece, the toxin itself is a tinker toy, that tinker toy piece just makes that toxin more readily excretable, eliminated. It, it helps it get eliminated in the bile. You can upregulate glucuronidation by drinking tea. We talked about this yesterday, green tea, um, herbal tea can do it. Herbal tea is really easy to make. You just go get yourself some herbs at a health food store at Whole Foods or off the internet and stick them in a tea ball and drop it in some hot water. That's basically it. You can make your own herbal tea, make your own herbal medicine. Pretty much all herbs are going to have therapeutic properties. That's really amazing to me. Well, listen to that comment. Just just sit with that for a second. Pretty much everything that grows from the earth, which is what an herb is, an herb is nothing more than a weed. It's something that grows out of the earth. Pretty much all herbs are going to have therapeutic properties. That is such an amazing concept to me. And I don't talk a lot about herbal medicine because I'm more of a nutritionist, but I'm, I've studied pharmacognosy. In pharmacy school, we study herbs. And I, I had an herbal pharmacy for many years where I actually went out and I picked the herbs ethically wild crafted the herbs as they say and tinctured them up and made medicine with them and I'm a big believer in herbal medicine even though we don't talk about it a lot and it just completely blows me away every time I think of the fact that what we call herbs which are really weeds the same stuff we pull out of the out of our gardens and that grows in the cracks in our sidewalks are powerful medicine and we can make our own powerful medicine with nothing more than some herb and a tea ball and you don't even have to go to the health food store you can pick the herbs out of your garden you can, instead of uh, instead of picking the weeds out of your garden, throwing them out, or, or using weed killer, why don't you identify the weeds? We'll see what they are, and I guarantee you there's going to be medicinal properties in there. Make your own herbal medicine. If you feel a cold coming on, get yourself some uh, acerola. Get yourself some echinacea. You buy those both at Whole Foods or off the internet. If you want to control your blood sugar, get fenugreek. F-E-N-U-G-R-E-E-K, one of the all-time great and underappreciated herbs. Fenugreek is great for women when they're having their menstrual cycle or when they have, if they have hard periods or rough periods or menopause. It's got hormonal properties. Also helps you stabilize your blood sugar. Cinnamon. Cinnamon, that's an awesome herb. You don't think of it as an herb, but it's an herb. Tastes great. Wonderful for stabilizing blood sugar. Gymnia, which is in the... Uh, uh, sweeties, if you want more energy, get some ginseng, ephedra, if you want to help your brain, if you want to prevent Alzheimer's disease or improve your memory, go get some ginkgo biloba or some go-to cola or mate, erba mate, as they say. I drink mate tea every day. Gives you quite the buzz, I have to say. I don't, it doesn't have a lot of caffeine in it, but it's got stuff that's similar to caffeine. And then there's an herb called Chinese moss, which contains hooperzine. Bet you haven't heard of hooperzine. Hooperzine A is a really, really interesting compound that's being studied uh, medically. The medical community is, being rec is recognizing it as an acetylcholine-type drug. Alzheimer's disease is uh, partially, at least the thinking is, it partially involves the destruction or the, um, the, the, the uh, reduction of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine. And uh, it turns out that Hooperzine Z can block an enzyme that destroys acetylcholine. You'll find Hooperzine Z in your uh, synaptive from longevity. Even if you're healthy, even if your brain is healthy, even if you're, you're young, you just want to, you want to uh, study for a test, or you're in school, Hooperzine, Hooperzine A can support memory, can support cognitive functioning. If you don't want to make a tea, just go get yourself some synaptive. When it comes to detox, herbs can be helpful there. I personally prefer fasting as a detox strategy. That's my favorite de detox stra strategy is not putting stuff in the body, staying away from problem foods, avoiding lectins, using nutrients like vitamin C and E and zinc and selenium for detox support. But if your liver's working all right and you're not overly toxic, herbs, herbs can be helpful there. Cilantro, milk thistle, rosemary, oregano, all of these have... Uh, all of these have detox properties. And if you use rosemary or sage or burdock or dandelion, you can support your glucuronidation. These are glucuronidation upregulating herbs. Rosemary, sage, oregano, burdock, dandelion. We talked yesterday about ro rooibos tea, the honey bush, as it's called, rooibos tea. You're, you're going to start hearing more and more about rooibos. My friend Diane, I just got a, uh, a Facebook post or a Facebook message from her. Uh, she had a picture of a rooibos coconut drink that's available. I knew that you were, rooibos was going to get more and more publicity out there because it's really effective. It's been known about for a long time. Well, we talked about it yesterday. I'm not going to get into that again. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back with your phone calls on the Bright Side right after this. Okay, we are 
are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive pages at benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you, Peter, in the UK for setting that one up. And also on brightsideben.com. You can get longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the websites or by calling 866-735-2470. Got Joanne Conaway, Dr. Joanne Conaway, coming up at the bottom of the hour. We're going to talk gut health and I-26. We'll get your phone calls this segment. 844-236-6010 is our number. Good morning to Leslie in Highlands Ranch. I know who you are, right, Leslie? That's right. Hi, Ben. Good morning. How you doing? I'm doing okay. Um, you know, I've been here in Highlands Ranch for a couple of months now. Okay. My mom, my mom's multiple system atrophy. Um, I'm sorry. Say have... that slower. Say that again. I, I lost you there. I didn't quite understand oh, I'm that. Sorry. My mom's uh, multiple system atrophy. Her MSA. Oh. MS, they, they actually name it MSA. They actually have an acronym for. I call it MBFA. Right? Remember what, what that stands for? Uh, not right now. <laughs> MB, MBFA disease is what you're calling multiple system atrophy. That's the fancy schmancy way of saying MBFA disease, which is my body is falling apart disease. Right. That's right. what she has. Yeah. They name it actually. Exactly. I was I name it as a joke. They actually have they actually have a serious <laughs> name for my body is falling apart disease. I just think it's it's funny that we have all the, these diagnoses for all the ways the body falls apart when it just falls apart. But they actually have a disease called MSA. And she gets right. diagnosed with MSA. She gets coded and put in the computer with MSA. There's a special protocol so the brain dead medical professional doesn't even have to think about about the humanity that's behind the diagnosis and can just go to the book. And, and I, they're drugging her, of course, for her MSA as if well, no. the drugs are going to help. No, they're not? Actually, no. She's not on any drugs. They, Good they, for her. They diagnosed her with Parkinsonism. And um, I really didn't like that. I, she's on longevity, but we can't get enough into her. How old is your mom? How old is your mom? She is um, going to be eighty in December. Okay, well, and she's young. Yeah, she's not. I'm not going to say she's young, but she's got more, a lot more years to go. Put it that way. Well, so how can I help you? I got a bu- I, uh, Ask me a question because I got a bunch of calls here. I want to get into. Got so just, it. So, so, so my question, just to get more nutrition into her, she's on longevity. We can't get enough into her. The blood brain barrier. Um, I understand that vitamin C. Um, it is really, really important for bringing inflammation down in the brain, but it can't penetrate the blood-brain barrier. Where did you hear that? Why would I? Hang on, hang on. Who told you that? Well, it was all the stuff that I read on. Uh, well, let me ask you this. Bed, let me ask you this. If, if vitamin C, and, hang on. Let me ask you this, Leslie. If vitamin C doesn't cross the blood-brain barrier, how does vitamin C get in the brain? Does it, it get? It gets yeah. into the brain because it's converted into hydroascorbic acid. And oh, okay, I, oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, but that still that still functions like vitamin C. You're talking about supplemental well, vitamin C. You're talking about supplemental yeah. vitamin C. Okay, I see what you're saying. Right. Yes, so, vitamin C obviously so my, gets into the brain because the brain needs it, but it comes in a different form. But it still functions as vitamin C. Right. So don't worry about and, it. And don't, then it gets reconverted back into vitamin right. C. Right. It's still uh, right. That's minutiae that you don't need to know. The fact is, vitamin C gets in the brain how it happens yeah that's interesting so yeah plenty of vitamin c i'd be doing iv vitamin c if i were you or if i were her we're gonna do that's what we're gonna do that we're gonna do that right away actually but my question was um if her systems are falling her part apart and all of her regulatory systems and all of that um, is it going to be difficult for her brain to convert the, vit- the ascorbic acid into hydroascorbic acid? Yeah, that's a that's a very good question. Probably it won't be as effective as efficient, but it still will do it. Listen, y- y- I'm concerned that she's falling apart and, and we're not doing anything about it. The supplements are great, but she's she's got to have a stream of toxicity that's coming into her body that's keeping her unhealthy. So you she really want to f- she has to. So you really want to focus that way. I'm, I'm going to let you go, Leslie. But but it's tragic. Number one, don't. don't don't give up, and please, I hope she doesn't give up. Number two, it's more than just what you're putting in, it's what you, it, or it's putting in what's not getting in. It's not putting in what is. I, I know we I said know, that in the convoluted yeah, way, we, but you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, we know. Okay. What, uh, what the and don't forget the slow, deep breathing, and don't forget a little tiny bit of exercise. Stress the body well, just a hair. I, I got geriatric um, oxygen chamber. Yeah, of yeah hyperbaric. Or excuse me, hyperbaric oxygen. Yeah, hyperbaric oxygen chambers would be great for her. 
Absolutely. Okay. But uh, moving the body, too. All right. God bless you, and good luck with your mom. Uh, and I hope I see you soon, maybe in August at the convention. All right. Take I care, Leslie. You. Thank okay. you. Bye-bye. All right. Chris in Texas, good morning. What's going on? Welcome to the Bright Side. Thank you so much, for Ben, for getting Dr. Joanne Conaway on board. And what yes. I'd like to do, Ben, is I want to talk about the CBD-based drug that the FDA approved, but mm. I want to go ahead and let you jump to your guest because I know time is short. So can I call you in the coming days and we can talk yeah, more you, about that? Will today? you do that? That's I was going to mention that, and I might mention I might I might talk about that tomorrow. The FDA it's the first medical Great. first CBD uh, derived drug just came out or just got approved by the FDA. Yeah, I'd love I, I may mention that tomorrow, but I'd love it if you'd call Chris. Thanks so much. All right, take care, man. All right, let's go to Melissa in California. What's going on? Welcome to the Bright Side, Melissa. Hi, good morning, Ben. Thanks for taking my call. I love your show. Thank you. Real quickly, my 21-year-old son um, had some pre-surgery blood tests, and I'll tell you about the surgery in a minute. But um, the results came back with an elevated bilirubin, and um, the, he's had that uh, the bilirubin now tested three times, and all three times that level has been elevated. But the surgery that he had is was to remove um, an uh, tegerum growth in his eye. Again, as a 21-year-old, and it was. Mm. Um, He's had that since he was 15 in both eyes, but it was starting to kind of take off, have a life of its own, and grow towards the um, cornea. So we obviously had to have that had to have that removed. But back to the to, to this Billy Rubin, and today he goes in to have a an ultrasound um, for the liver, gallbladder, pancreas, and whatnot. But um, the the results for that elevated Billy Rubin show, the direct and then the unconjugated. The unconjugated is the one that's... Um, that, Don't even worry about that. that. His liver's not working. It's too much minutia for, as far as re- helping him out. It doesn't matter whether it's the unconjugated or the conjugated. The fact that it's uh, unconjugated means he's not glucuronidating. You've been listening to us talk about glucuron. So a- anything you do to support glucuron, don't even worry about all that minutia. Just anything you do to support glucuronidation for one thing. All the, I mean, you might want to review everything we're talking about. More fiber. Or, or do mm-hmm. do a veggie juice every day, uh, yeah. uh, a fiber veggie juice every day. Make sure he's doing his probiotics, his good bacteria. Intestinal health and, and liver health go hand in hand. He's got a liver problem. Any issues with gallstones or anything like that? No, no. Well, and again, okay, he'll good. have ultrasound today, so we don't think so. His liver enzymes are uh, or fine, the doctor said. So that was good. It doesn't day. matter if his liver enzymes are fine because those are all based on te- based on scores. And okay. you want to go by the symptoms. And is, if he's, is he jaundice? Is he yellow? No, he's not. No. Okay. Nope. Okay. So it, it might be he's okay. I don't know. I don't always. I don't really particularly care about the tests too much. I go by the symptoms. But he is mm-hmm. symptomatic with his eyes. So there's probably something going on in his liver. Support the glucuronidation. Support the detoxification. Have him drinking the rooibos tea. The, uh, drinking green tea every day. Um, you can. I'm going to talk about kombucha here in a couple of days. That might be a good strategy for you. Um, uh, using using lots lots of veggies. If you want to simplify it, lots of veggies, um, and then also the teas that we were talking about and fiber. And probiotics support intestinal health too okay i gotta go that's it good luck with everything god bless you melissa take care all right sorry sorry if we left you on hold we got dr joanne conaway coming up at the bottom of the hour i'm pharmacist ben you're listening to the bright side we'll be back after this okay we are back on the bright side i'm pharmacist ben if you're interested in checking out our longevity young, products, please go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And don't forget to check out our True Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, our Truth Biomimetic Mineral Mist made with fulvic mineral mist or fulvic minerals is available at truthtreatments.com. Also, our Truth Retinol 1% Gel, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, True Serum, Truth Balm and our Truth Omega 6 Healing Cream all are up at truthtreatments.com. I am very honored to have my next guest on, Dr. Joanne Conway, doctor, I say. She used to be, when I met her, she was a nurse, and then she went back to school, became a doctor, which was uh, pretty darn ambitious, I have to say. And I've known Dr. Conway now for 18 years. And one thing has remained consistent with Dr. Joanne. She's always been talking about the gut. And this is where 
where uh, she and I have a lot in common. You know, we always talk about the gut on this program as well. Dr. Conaway is an expert on the digestive system and also uh, the author of a book on the digestive system and the host of her own radio program on the Genesis Communication Network. Welcome to the Bright Side, Dr. Conaway. Well, thank you so much for having me, Ben. I'm delighted to be here with you today. And to your point, yes, a focus on the gut is very important. Uh, it's if you had to focus on only one thing, what system would it be? Absolutely, the gut, right? Absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. It's it's like a no-brainer when you think about it. I mean, how else would things get into the body that shouldn't, and how else do things that should get into the body get into the body through the gut, right? I mean, it's, it's just right. it always. It, do you still hear? I used to hear this when I talked about the digestive system, especially in, in the skin. I don't know if you hear it as much anymore, where people say, "Oh, it's not that important. Food isn't that important. Your digestive system isn't that important when it comes to health." Do you still hear people saying that? I do still hear people saying that, and I hear people saying that what they eat is not that important. Yeah, right. And that Even blows me away. It blows you away, right? Mm-hmm. So, uh, so when I met you, you were a nurse, and then you motivated which uh, kudos to you. Why did you want, what, what was your thinking that you went back to school to be a naturopath? Mostly for the education, mostly just to have that education and then the credentials behind my name, not that that was all that important. I don't think I do much different now than I did when I was a right. nurse. But, you know, for me, it was being able to have the credentials, write the book, and have people say, oh, she's an MD. And tell us real quick, I want to talk about the I-26, but tell the folks about the book real quick and then how they can get it. Okay, so where do we want to start? Uh, for the, where, first of all, tell us the title and, how, and, uh, and what it's about. Oh, okay. Well, the title of the book is Why is America So Sick? And what I do in this particular book is I link digestive health to immunity and hormonal issues, which I think are very important. My next book is going to speak more to the gut-brain connection. But the initial book is, again, linking digestive health to immunity and hormonal issues. That's only and, a part of it. And where can people get it on Amazon, right, or just any, um, any old no, bookstore? Actually, people can get it by going to either PowerHourRadio.com. If you go to PowerHourRadio.com, you just click on the book. It will take you to the order page. Or you can go to DRJConaway.com. And you awesome. Just click on the book. It will take you to the order page. Very nice. All right, cool. So let's talk about Hyperimmunetic, one of my favorite longevity products, and, and it doesn't get a lot of play uh, compared to the Healthy Star Pack and the Brain and, and Brain and Body Pack and, and the other uh, longevity products. But it, it may be one of the most powerful of all the longevity products. What exactly is Hyperimmunetic, first of all? Okay, well, what it is is it's actually egg, and they're eggs that are from hens that have provided their own passive immunity. And what they do is they actually expose the hens to some 26 specific strains of bacteria. And so these hens develop their immunity, and then when they hatch the egg, the egg is already loaded with all this immunity. So the resulting powder that is produced from these eggs actually has the ability to target against the 26 specific strains of bacteria that we know commonly affect human health. So you, you spark up the hen's immunity with, uh, by in, inoculating them or, or injecting them with, with specific antigens, right? You spark, mm-hmm. spark their immunity, and all those, that, all, that, all, all those immune chemicals that have been sparked up come into the egg, and they can, if, you, if you eat those eggs or eat the powder that's derived from the eggs, you can improve your own immunity. Is that correct? Did I say that right? Absolutely. That's pretty darn awesome. That's pretty clever. So uh, the hyperimmune egg comes in, uh, it comes in powder, and then it also comes in a capsule and a wafer, which I didn't know. I just knew that it came in the powder, and I use every day. Who, can you, who should use I-26? Well, when we look at who should use I-26, I personally believe everyone should use I-26. Uh-huh. But if you have digestive issues of any kind, like bloating, constipation, heartburn, anything like that, certainly you should be using it. The other people who should be using it are people who use probiotics. And why do I say that? Well, we know that the microbiome is the balance of healthy bacteria, unhealthy bacteria. And if people are using probiotics, the benefit of using the I-26 with the probiotics is it will actually help to potentiate the ability of the probiotics to do their work. It's not so a prebiotic. They don't, eat, they don't eat the hyperimmune egg, do they? Is it a prebiotic? No, no. It's what what the hyperimmune egg actually does is it prevents 
bacteria from attaching to the cells within the gastrointestinal tract. The bad guys. Within the tract, yep. Bacteria usually will attach to the cells by using this tail-shaped structure or a ganglion, okay? And the I-26 actually will inhibit the adherence of those bad bacteria. Now that's very interesting. Forcing them out of the system more readily. Now, you're talking about lect oh, is this a lectin reaction or an anti-lectin reaction? Not so necessarily as it is just washing or cleaning away or preventing the adherence, I guess is what we say. And, and this, so when I talk to people about it, I talk to them in terms of it just helps to move out the bad stuff. That's very nice. And so if you have like IBS or ulcerative colitis, that kind of thing, or Crohn's disease or celiac disease, how about gluten intolerance? Will it help improve that? Definitely. But with gluten intolerance, as we know, we should eliminate gluten. Avoid the gluten. Without, it's not just gluten. Yeah. Do you ever do you ever talk about the other things like um, it's not just gluten? There's you know the other other plant defense molecules. Do you ever talk about those on your program or sometimes, in your presentations? Sometimes I do because I and think it's important for people to know. So how about p for people who have food intolerances like uh, other like to beans or dairy or something like that? Can it support support uh, health there too? It can because what we do when we introduce people to the I-26 program, we usually introduce them to the I-26 and probiotics if they're not taking probiotics. And those two things in conjunction will help to repair the inside lining of the gut, which is where people get so many of their issues and problems. So what, what do you mean by the I-26 program? What I have done is I've put together a 20-day protocol. It's a 20-day program that I recommend for people who have gastrointestinal issues, people who have immune system issues, people who have skin issues, the list goes on and on and on. But what I do is, first of all, I've recognized that over the course of the last couple of decades, we are eating more and more of the deplorable foods and the things that are not healthy, and that is impacting that balance of bacteria. So I put people on a program that includes the I-26, it includes enzymes, and it includes the Nightly Essence probiotic product. Mm. And what this does is it helps to flush out all the bad stuff, helps to re-inoculate the good stuff, and helps to reestablish that good microbiome. So it's the ultimate enzymes, the I-26, and the Nightly Essence. And the Digest FX. And the Digest FX. Okay, so I want to talk about exactly how you do that when we come back from our break. We got Dr. Joanne Conaway, host of the Power Hour, and uh, uh, newly minted naturopath and RN and expert on the digestive tract. We'll be back with more good health information on the bright side right after this. on the bright side talking to Dr. Joanne Conaway about I-26 and digestive health. Dr. Conaway, so before we went to break, we were talking about this protocol that you came up with. Uh, just how do you t uh, review real quick and how do you take advantage of it? Okay, what I do is first of all realize that most people have an unhealthy gut. That's a given. So what I do is I ask people to prepare for a 20-day program. And in the first 10 days of the program, they use a scoop of the I-26 first thing in the morning. They take ultimate enzymes each time they eat a meal. Between meals, I have them do the Digest FX. And why between meals? We know that if you're taking a good proteolytic enzyme between meals, it will help to go into the system. There's no food to be digested. So it goes immediately into the circulatory system and starts to take out the trash, if you will. Literally starts to clean up some proteins and other things in the blood. And then at night... I have people take, for the first 10 days, four of the nightly essence. And then for the next 10 days, the protocol repeats, except you take two of the nightly essence for the next 10 days. What I found is this benefits people in several different ways. Certainly, it boosts the immunity and also helps with every other system in the body. But the most important thing that I think that it does is it helps to prepare the gut for better absorption of the products that we spend good money on. For I love it. That's great. That's one of the hidden benefits of working on the gut is you get better absorption. In, in, addition, in addition to keeping the bad stuff out, it's easier for the good stuff to get in. Why do you like the Digest FX? I mean, what I like do you like about it? Should... Okay, what I like about it, sometimes people will tell me that the ultimate enzyme seems to be a little bit too strong between meals. Uh -huh. When you're not digesting fast, that ox bile in the ultimate enzyme seems to be a little bit too much for some people. Got so it. that's why between meals I use the digestive effect. 
Okay. Have you ever used uh, uh, either the Digest FX or the Ultimate Enzymes for pain relief? Yes, I have, actually. And I've also helped it with people who are trying to lose weight. Oh, Rest interesting. Mm -hmm. how, how would that work? What's the mechanism uh, there? Well, it's because, again, if you're using it between meals and there's nothing in the gut for it to work on, then it's going to go into the system and it's going to clean up some of the proteins, the excess proteins that are in the circulatory system. And what we find is that mechanism seems to help in as much as it cleans things out more quickly. And I will oftentimes use it, and especially with the um, product in the Stay Natural line called Hulk, which is also a blood cleanser, if you will. Say again, and what's it called? What was it called? Just hope? hope, like faith, hope, and charity. Hope. Okay, I got you. I hadn't heard of that one. Okay. And when you take those products between meals, they, again, help to clean up the blood and clean up the system. When you're Love losing it. weight, you're releasing a lot of toxins. We know that. And these things help to clean up the toxins that are being released. And very nice. Very nice. So for people who are, going, who are doing a diet or who are trying to lose weight while they're losing the weight or going keto or, or intermittent fasting, use the enzymes on an empty stomach. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. What's your take on the Swero V? I absolutely love that product. I'm very disappointed we can't get it right now. But well, we're wait, at... when did that happen? Yeah. Well, that happen? It, it, I don't know. And, and what I've been told is it has something to do with the manufacturing. It wasn't coming up to standard for us. Uh -huh. So. Okay, and you know, with the longevity, it's got to be to standard, or we're not going to. I know. Mark I, how, how, long so you, anyway. how long have you been doing longevity? Since January of 1999. Okay, gotcha. Is and I, I met you right around then. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. a, you know that's coming on 20 years there, Doctor Conway. I know. I know. It's been pretty so crazy. <laughs> it's pretty <laughs> crazy. All right. I'm I think not about gonna... it from time to time. How did that happen? How did that happen? That's how life is. That's why you got to get control of your health now. If anybody's on the bubble, it goes by so darn fast. And every day you miss, uh, because of every day you miss the, the quality of because of your, your health, is just a day you're not getting back, and they're pi the days are piling up on the back end really fast. Right, Dr. Conaway? Yes, they are. Absolutely. All right. So, uh, yeah, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, when we look at a product like the 26, the I-26, one of the things that I want people to understand is a lot of people say, I don't like the taste of egg. I don't want to use egg. Well, you and I both love the powder. I, I love the powder. the powder. I use it every morning. Okay. I, same but here. A lot of people don't like the powder. They don't like the taste. So That's, we have it that, in a capsule form, which is nice. amazing. Okay? Nice. And you, you, can take that in the middle of the, you can take that in the middle of the day, too. You you know, yeah, yeah, I the eggy the, that eggy taste is goes great in my smoothie. So I Absolutely. if you don't I don't know why people don't like the the taste. Of, I guess everybody's got their own taste. Uh, how about uh, different ways that you can use it? You don't have to put it in a smoothie, right? I mean, you could just put it right in water. Absolutely, you can just put it right in water. But a lot of people don't like that flavor. A lot of times, if I'm not doing a smoothie in the morning for one reason or another, I might just be doing my Beyond Tangy Tangerine and my Beyond Osteo. I'll just throw it in with that. Now, you can't, do you have to worry about blending it up or the antibodies, are, are, are they fragile at all when you're blending it? Not blending, but the important thing, and that's a good point, and I'm glad you made me think of it. The one really important thing is you can never put it in a hot liquid. Hot uh -huh. liquid will denature the protein. Okay. So it needs to be at least room temperature or cool so that you can denature the protein and take away the active ingredient. Got it. So you can't cook with it or anything? No. Mm -mm. But it probably I mean, tastes good, but you're not going to get the benefits if you do. I'll bet it tastes great in pudding. I know. Or in it. custard. Does, have you tried that? <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, I have. Absolutely. Anything, anything that, you, that, that you would use egg for, it, would, it, would kind of, it will enhance that eggy flavor, no? Mm-hmm. It will. I, and a lot of I, people like it in yogurt. A lot of people don't. Yogurt. Like yeah, yogurt but sounds great. Like Greek yogurt. Yeah, speaking of, speaking of yogurt, so let's talk a real quickly about the whole uh, good bacteria thing. Now, you've known, as a nurse, you've probably known about it for a long time, the whole thing about uh, probiotics. What, what's your take on, on probiotics and probiotic supplements versus, food, uh, versus fermented foods? Well, I think fermented foods are absolutely wonderful. I think fermented foods are the best way you can get good, healthy bacteria. But what I will tell you is a lot of people don't like fermented foods. Uh-huh. Sauerkraut even? I'm sorry? Even sauerkraut? No, people don't like sauerkraut. A lot sauerkraut? of people don't like it. You know, I live in a household where I'm the only one who will eat fermented foods. So. Is that right? Mr. Conaway doesn't do fermented foods? No, no, no. That's uh, not, uh, thing. not yogurt even? Not even yogurt? No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No. Really? 
<laughs> oh my gosh. So that, because of the acidity, people probably find that a little bit too strong. And just the flavor itself. They don't like How it. Interesting. But, How interesting. Yeah. yeah, okay. But one you other thing think? that I do want to bring up, because I think it's so important for people to know, I, I believe kiddos need to use this product as well. And the I-26? The I-26? The I-26, yep. Okay. And we have wafers for kiddos. We have banana-flavored wafers, and we have vanilla-flavored wafers. Are these are new? I, I, are the, is, no. The, the, there were always wafers. Nobody told me this. Yeah. How interesting. Okay, and, and they're like, it's like a cracker, like a cookie kind of thing? Well, it's just like, um, it, I can liken it to a Tums, if you will. Okay? I gotcha. But it is I got gotcha. you. Do it up. Oh, that's an awesome way to get it. So you want to take your probiotics with your I-26? Actually, I take the probiotics separate from the I-26. I take the I-26 in the morning. I take my probiotics at night. Why do you take them separately? Is there a reason? Or just Mostly convenience? because my favorite product is the Nightly Essence, and it uh -huh. is designed to be taken at night for various different reasons, not the least of which is the fact that it has all those systemic enzymes that work so well at night. That's really oh. the only reason you can take two of them together. There's no reason you can't. But usually on the program, I recommend that people do the I-26 in the morning, sweeping out all the bad stuff, and then at night when they go to bed, take the probiotics, and that gives all night long to the body to be able to use those probiotics and also use those very beneficial enzymes in that product. Do you notice people get better benefits when they take like six as opposed to two or three? Well, I usually set the recommended dose at four to start with. But yes, okay. I do see that people get a better benefit if they take more initially. Because what you're doing is you're trying to recolonize. And you're trying to quickly put as many as possible into the small intestine so that they will start to multiply more quickly. And I find that by doing four for 10 days and then two for 10 days, people see a better benefit. Okay, last question. We're out of time here. What about people on a course of antibiotics? Um, can the I-26 be taken with the antibiotics? Should it be taken between the pills, between the dose, or, or wait till you're done with your course of antibiotics? How does that work? In that case, I never say wait. I always say take the I-26 and a probiotic product between your doses of antibiotics. So if you're on it twice a day, taking it every 12 hours, then you're going to take your probiotic and your I-26 every 12 hours. That's the way I recommend it. If you're on a course where you're taking it three times a day, just find a time between your doses of antibiotics where you can fit in your probiotics and I-26. Thank you so much, Dr. Conway. That was awesome. Dr. Con uh, Joanne Conway has her own radio program, The Power Hour, and she's the author of a really cool book on, uh, on health, general health, specifically the digestive system as well. Give your website out again real quick, Dr. Conway. Okay, powerhourradio.com and drjconaway.com. Awesome. Thank you so much, Dr. Conaway. I'm sure I'll see you in August if I don't talk to you yes, before sir. then. Thanks so much for being on the program and uh, have yourselves have a, a wonderful, beautiful day, Dr. Conaway. All, all right. right that's thank all you so much for having me. Take care. All right. That's all the time we have for today on the Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks so much for listening. And you guys have a kick butt day. We'll talk to y'all later, folks. Bye for now. <laughs>